Hello Seed Savers! I'm Bonnie from Circle City Seeds, and I have quite a bit of seed germination testing to do, and I thought this would be a great opportunity to talk about how to test your own seeds and show you how I test mine. For germination testing, you're looking to see if your seeds are still good by checking to see how many in a small group will sprout. You are looking for both the tiny little roots that will go underground, and also what will be the stem and the leaves of the plant to emerge from the seed. So why would you want to test your germination rate? It could be that all or almost all the seeds you test germinate, which is great. That means if you want 12 pepper plants, you should sow 12 seeds or a little bit more. If only about half your seeds germinate, then you'll want to plant twice as many. And if very little or no seeds germinate, it's time to get more seeds. You don't need to do this to all of your seeds in your collection or do it every year. You'll want to do this on seeds that are a bit older or ones you've collected yourself. For me, I donate my seeds to my local seed library and sell some online, so I want to make sure they aren't duds. There are several different ways to do germination testing. You can use soil or paper towels. So depending on which method you use, some of the supplies you might need include paper towels, plastic baggies or another container, or your seed starting containers with your planting mix. You'll also need some water, and some way of labeling your seeds, like a marker or plant labels, and of course your seeds. To do your germination testing with soil, you pretty much start your seeds like you normally would in your seed starting trays and count. The paper towel method involves sprouting your seeds on a paper towel. Normally I use paper towels in a little sandwich bag that I reuse for germination testing. I would fold a moistened paper towel in half, place my seeds in between the layers, and place them inside the baggie. Don't worry about closing up the bag, and make sure you label your bags. You'll want to date the bag too, or keep notes in your gardening journal or in a handy dandy spreadsheet. This year I'm testing so many seeds that I'm going to upscale my testing. I'm still going to use the paper towel method but I'm gonna be rolling up the paper towels in one of these metal pans. This is very similar to the method I've used in the past, but instead of the paper towels being flat, they're rolled up. Then I'll put a little plastic wrap over the top to make sure they don't dry out too quickly. These are some hibiscus seeds, and I'll be putting 20 seeds on my paper towel. Professional germination testing uses at least 400 seeds, but you can do as little as 10 for home gardening. I like to do 20. Once you have all of your seeds on your slightly wet paper towel, fold it in half and you want to lightly press down. You want to make sure the seeds are making good contact with the paper towel, but be careful not to squish them. I am labeling my seeds here with plant markers and then rolling the paper towel around it. You'll want to keep your little test subjects in the same kind of conditions that you would keep them when starting those types of seeds. For some seeds, this may mean using a heat mat or keeping them on top of your fridge. You want to check your seeds every few days to see how many have germinated. Keep an eye out on the moisture level of your seeds. You want to keep them slightly wet, but not so wet that your seeds begin to rot or mold. To calculate your germination rate, you want to divide the number of seeds that sprouted by the total of number of seeds that you started. Then you multiply that number by 100. If you want to keep it easy though, if you test 10 seeds, each one that germinates is 10%. And if you test 20 seeds, each seed that germinates is 5%. So what's a good germination rate? It varies from plant to plant. For most plants, 90% or better is amazing. For a lot of flower seeds, 50% is okay. For most vegetable seeds, you probably want a rate that's at least in the 75 to 80% range. The more seeds you test, the more accurate your reading will be. And because I have a plant problem, I try to save the seeds that sprout and cross my fingers that they don't get too big before it's time to plant them outside. If you would like to purchase some of the seeds I've collected here today, 
you can do so in my Etsy shop or on my website, circlecityseed.com. Thank you so much for watching, and if you want to learn more about saving all different types of seeds, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment below what seed saving video you would like to see next. Happy seed saving!